people that are just like you. Your mentalities have changed. Like, yeah, I felt I realized that I don't got to be this way. And they were like, well, how did you realize you didn't have to be that way? When I realized that that way was not doing anything good for me. Something that simple will change someone's entire life because their brain will go, you know what? He is right. Nothing. There's there's no shackles here. There are no chains that are telling me I have to be this way or feel this way. Or if I don't do this, someone's going to it's going to shame me like what? That that is that is the weirdest mental image that somehow got implanted into all of our minds at a early age that has now superseded its actual space that it occupies in us. We can evict it when we want. Yeah. We decide not to. <laughs> we have to we have to we have to figure out how to evict it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I just th- that's what's so amazing about podcasting. <laughs> just like the Internet age of like. You know, all the things we think we're going through alone, we realize that there are so many other people going through the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. And you could talk about it and share that information and have like a real meaningful conversation. And uh, so, yeah, hopefully this is help. This is I'm inspired already. And I'm sure <laughs> the listeners will be will be also. It's so true. I hope somebody does. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, you're like it's 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 like these are things that are on my mind. So it's like so cool to kind of hear your take on it. And uh, it's super informative for me. So I. Yeah. I super appreciate you sharing that. Yeah, let's work on on breaking through those uh, those mental chains. And and the other thought that I had about that was, you know, we you know we, we talk about the work ethic and the journey mm-hmm. and trying to get to where our goal of where we're going to go. And like, you know, we have to remember there's also seasons, right? Like, yes, there's a season for me time. There's a season for mental health and figuring out your shit. And then there's a season to buckle down and work and 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 try to reach your dreams and, yeah. and get to where you want to go. Mm-hmm. And so it's like. You can't look at this line as always up. You're gonna. There's always gonna be, and it's not down. It's just a different kind of. Yeah, there's, not, there's peaks that, and valleys you're, you're in life, going, you're, right? But it's not even a valley to take time for, like, like with with that logic. You know what I mean? It's not even a valley to to take me time and to figure out your shit. You know what I mean? It's just part of that process. Mm-hmm. And like, you shouldn't feel shame. Like that's just part of it. You know, you're just can. You need that time in order to continue moving. So well, that's and it's the, like that's like if the, you go to so like what you just said, right? I would want people to realize like when so like when some like when I say this this is how I've changed my mentality. When I when we, when we say peaks and valleys, we automatically think of high and low. You know what I mean? That's when when I say peak and valley, we all, that's all we automatically think. But the reality is there are more yeah. valleys that we walk through to get to the peak of something than there are peaks that we are trying to achieve. So don't I don't I, and for this for people that are listening. I don't want anyone to think that when we say peaks and valleys or highs and lows that it's a it's a negative condon, condonation. It's just what we've been programmed to mm. think. You know what I'm saying? I a valley could yeah, be anything. The valley could just be the road that you're walking on because the peak could literally be to the place that you're headed to. We're still going to walk through this valley to get there. You know what I'm saying? And that's and there's nothing wrong with that. That's the, that that is my biggest thing that I want people to take away. A lot of times the things that we've been, you know, like trained to think one way about was because of the time in which it it was an actual issue but now we have options you know right it's a whole new world and we have to Mm -hmm. (laughs) yeah we have to take advantage of those of those that new world that we have and and not get tied down yeah man we have the internet like Um, we have we have actual ability to actually go on like like right now right after this conversation dude i had this one app that i had um I, i had seen and found online about like, you know, things that have to do with mental health. And you can go and talk to a professional on my phone, text or chat or whatever. And you know what? That is, that is an ability that we have today that our parents didn't have. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and that's the thing we be, because of those abilities, because of these amazing advancements, it is our, it is, that is our job as adults to be responsible enough to be better. Because the things that our parents actually raised us for is what we're living through now. They, they raised us to live long enough to make it to, to have the ability today to have the choice of being better people so we can raise future better people. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> you know, like that. that so that's good. really what it's about. So good. Like, especially because we're parents. It's like yeah. it's like 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 right. and, we, we all we want for our kids is to have an amazing future, right? Yeah. That's like all I want yeah. for myself. I, I don't, I don't you know? want the, I want, like being a productive member of society is like the offshoot of just being a member of society because productivity, it falls on the basis of everyone just working. 
Like, that's productivity. Like, my son could work in a shoe factory. He's being productive because he's being productive. He works in a restaurant. He's being productive. He's feeding people. Like, pr- productivity is is like the byproduct of us literally just living our life. What what we what we should really, really strive for is making our children the better versions of the people that they're saying they want to be. You know, so if my son's like, I want to be an astronaut. Hell yeah. You should be the best astronaut. You should be. You know what? You go to places that we can only dream of. Because when I was growing up, we talked about going to the moon. You should go to Mars. And then when you have kids, they should go to (laughs) Venus or Mercury. You know what I'm saying? They should go to Jupiter. They should go to places that we <laughs> all were told is an impossible place to land and live. And they should prove us wrong and make us look stupid. Like all yeah. the time. That's so that's how we should raise pro- our children. Progress. <laughs> yeah. Like we should raise our children to be like, make us look stupid as, me- as, as much as you possibly can. Because you know why? Because new information gets brought up all the time. And I'm too old to absorb it all. But you're not. And you should be able to yeah. tell me about something that I was taught this way and then you found out it was wrong so you know what hell yeah nice you know yeah yeah totally yeah that you know the generations will just keep getting smarter they'll have more information and um yeah just don't we just can't yeah. tell our kids they're like they're they're stupid listen <laughs> but listen we we really messed up this whole climate change things for you guys i'm so oh sorry oh my god <laughs> well you know you know what that's the I, I feel like that's the thing where that's one of those things where we have to kind of look and our kids one day are going to look back and go, man, y'all were really stupid for this. And we're, <laughs> and we're just going to be like older, like 80 and 70. Like, yeah, you know, it was a wild time. We we were electing people that were really good speakers, but they didn't know what the hell they were doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Hopefully we're hopefully we're able to get move past this. This is my whatever. Speaking of the future. Oh, dude, but, look, it, we, we'll be, we, we will be we will be fine. Uh, we as a civilization and a species have evolved through worse so <laughs> yeah i hope so amen um the other thing I, w- I wanted to say about like the peaks and valleys and and like um and and still having your eye on the price it's like even on like a day-to-day basis right like we think that um you know going to the gym is bad for, it's bad because it's it's eats, it eats up time you know from your day and like this is t- this is the, my, my work time but like if you make it to the gym like that work time even if it's less will be better and it's like, mm-hmm. you know, sleep, sleeping, going to sleep at night, all these things that like we avoid doing that, like, actually, if you t- take a little bit of that a- extra time for yourself, you know, the the actual productivity, quote yeah. unquote, you know, it, it rises better. Yeah. It will be superior. Yeah. I um, mean, obviously, there's a, there's a point a nap, where dude, taking a over, nap but, is, is like if, if more adults took naps in the middle of the day or more companies made their people take a nap in the middle of the day, productivity would, would probably skyrocket because... It is the boost. It it's the it's the equivalent of your body getting an energy drink. Yeah. It is the midday boost to take you into the rest of the day that that will not have you feeling weird and sleepy and groggy on the way going back home. And I think people people kind of don't see it that way. They look at it as, oh no, I'm gonna miss out on doing this, this, and this. But the reality is the thing right, that you're it's saying. FOMO, it's FOMO and like faux productivity. Uh-huh. Yeah. It, the reality is the, the the more we drive our bodies into the ground, the less productive we are. Like if yeah. I the earlier I go to bed, the earlier I the earlier I go to sleep, the earlier I can wake up. <laughs> it's like that's yeah. the thing. So but 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 we but we are we're conditioned the other way around. Well the longer you stay here and the more work you get done, the more productive you are. True, but then I still have to get up early. <laughs> yeah. Whereas, it's true. Well, I, I, yeah. <laughs> I just, I just, interv- I just interviewed uh, Damian Taylor. Uh, this week's episode that just got released, um, who's seven-time Grammy-nominated producer, mixer. Awesome. Um, and he was telling me that um, he thinks of going to sleep as the beginning of the next day instead of the end of this day. Mm-hmm. He's like, this is this is me drawing the arrow for my next day. Yeah. And I was like, damn, that's amazing. That's so. I, why did I never think about it like that? And in, in you know Judaism, the night is the beginning of the day, right? Our mm-hmm. Sabbath starts Friday Friday night and Saturday at sundown. So it's like, I was like, damn, this is what it's about. Yeah. See, look, yeah. We all, all all of it's connected. We were all we we were all just getting pumped full of the wrong stuff. <laughs> exactly. Oh man. Um. So I wanted to let's jump a little bit back into the into the music side of things. Go for it. Like I know that. I feel like you have lots of thoughts of the state of the industry. I know you're part of AES and like, tell me what you've kind of learned over the last, like, I guess maybe other than Atmos about what's, what's the state of the industry, you know? 
Well, it's it's kind of weird. It's like there's my there's the professional side and then my personal take. The professional side of me has realized that our industry is growing exponentially with both technology and like knowledge. And that is exciting. Like really 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 exciting. And at the same time, it's I can see it's scary to a lot of people, but I'm still young enough to be excited for it every time. And but at the same time, I'm old enough to understand why it is a ne- is a necessity of growth and change. And then my personal take, my personal take on a lot of this is we are we're coming to a place where the changing of the guard is definitely about to take place. Where the older the older guys are learning that this technology that they've come up with and grown up with from when they were in their 20s is, is now the, the thing that rules the time frame in which they, they live in. And so some of them have adapted very, very well. And others are literally fading into obscurity. And that on a personal level for me, and I mean, no offense to anybody, but for me personally, I'm very, very excited <laughs> because... It's like pulling up plants in a in a field. It's time for new new growth. You know what I mean? It's time. It's yeah. time. The, the, like we were talking about before, that season is now over, and this season is now about to is about to kick in. And now it's the time for guys like ourselves. Like we we are becoming the new um, as 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 I'm called. We're becoming the new OGs for this right. part of our community. Like. We're the guys that survived the 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 mel- the melding together of both the hardware and the software worlds. We're, we're that gen- we're, we're the first generation of that. We we saw Pro Tools. We weren't too old to not understand it. We also were the first generation to record on a computer and tell everybody this was the future. We're the first generation that had plugins. Like I remember when FL Studio was Fruity Loops. Okay, right. like that's us. And so we're we are now about to enter into our season where we have that overarching knowledge of, you know why this 1176 sounds like this? Because they all sound like this and this is what they Mm -hmm. all do. But then they all started breaking up into this, this and this because we're that generation. Like the kids nowadays, a lot of them have never touched an 1176 in their entire lives. They've never touched it. Forget the recreations that exist. They all they all have the mentality of they can't afford it. They have the mentality that they can't afford it. Let's not talk about the fact that they can't afford it, but they have the mentality that they feel like they can't afford it. But we are part of the generation that says, um, if you need it, go get it. If you can't get it right now, save up for it because that's us now. And then 20 years from now, we're going to be that generation that says, Man, if you don't pick up that plugin <laughs> from Plugin Alliance and stop acting like you can't get the job done when someone feels like they're stuck. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 a really dope time. And looking at it like that on a personal level, all these different industry changes that that are actually happening make a lot more mm-hmm. sense. It's 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 literally it's our generation literally moving into the space that the last generation occupied. Like when we talk right. again, when we talked about Atmos, when we talk about tech, like that whole last generation, that that was a space that they occupied and they occupied it solely. You know what I mean? Indiscriminately. Like that was theirs. Don't no, you're not moving them out. They had to leave or they right. aged out. That's where we are. And a lot of people aren't don't really recognize it. But I've been around enough folks to see they're like, man, I'm getting tired, man. I'm getting old or man. That's not for me no more. This 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 is not for me. And I'm just like, but it's for me. <laughs> and I love that. Yeah. And and that's the thing, like recognizing that is is why I've come to this conclusion. I'm like, you know what? Hell, yeah, I'm going to get my nomination. I'm going to get my win because the space is opening up for all of us now to move in to those places that are about to be unoccupied. It, mm. It's it's like the tenants in a building all decided that, you know what, we're going to go retire. So what do we have? We have new room for new tenants. 
Yeah. And that space will always be filled by new tenants. It just so happens that 